speaking to a camera like this and standing in this house in clothes that are not completely broken and for construction work but with my normal everyday good clothes um, but I was in the mood to film something like this and today I got the chance to do so to come here alone for a little bit and just film some snippets here and there um, to update you guys because honestly on the renovation days filming is just one of the last things on my mind I'm constantly dirty and there's like constantly like hey uh, can you give me that can you give me this and if you're holding a camera that's very difficult to do there's no space to set up the camera and I can also not like spontaneously place the camera away because everything is dirty and I would like to keep my camera for a bit longer. Um, <laughs> so I don't film as much as I would love to. Um, and at the moment it is really a lot of repetitive stuff as well because after building the walls, we are now coating the walls, which is again, a lot of mixing of coating and then applying of the coating and yeah, it's 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 not that interesting. It just takes a long time. Let me tie my hair up. Let's be honest. I'm, it's too warm and too humid to wear open hair. I don't know how people do it that are more fashionable than me. I, I, I don't know. Like, please tell me how you do it because I just can't. I'm, this is my, this is my state of being. So we are actually currently at a two week um, break from renovations, which on one hand, of course, is frustrating. It's yet another delay. But on the other hand, it's very much needed. We are so exhausted <laughs> because we've been working on this house nonstop. While the actual renovations, like the hands-on stuff that you see on video, only takes place like on the weekends and only like between like one and three days per week. Still every other day of the week is also filled with renovation in one way or the other, be it driving somewhere to get materials, informing ourselves about prices, um, struggling finding, for example, the perfect window company. That was a whole thing. I'm not going to get into it. But that was a whole thing. <laughs> and then, for example, we got the tiles delivered the other day, which was very exciting. If I can give you one piece of advice before you start a renovation, go to the gym. Don't think you're fit enough to carry tiles and weights and everything. And also, uh, Check the size and the weight of the tiles that you buy. <laughs> These are our bathroom tiles and they are massive um, and we couldn't lift them. We had to improvise <laughs> and it took us, I think, an hour to get these three packages <laughs> inside the house and they will not be moved until we actually install them on the floor. But yeah, if you take any advice from me, go to the gym before starting a renovation. <laughs> But yeah, it's just it's just a lot. It takes up a lot of your mental headspace, your emotions, your financial headspace as well, and just a lot. And then on top of it, like the renovations, we are very hands-on. We're really trying to help as much as we can, which means we're constantly with like sore muscles and bruises and cuts all over. So it's good that we're getting a little bit of a break. I'm very excited. I'm looking forward to it for a few days, just 
trying not to think about the house as much as I love it and as much as I want to move in. I'm excited to have a few days where I don't have to think about all of this mess. <laughs> As mentioned, the time of September, October, November, and probably also December was mostly dedicated to coating, which is an excruciating slow process, which is why this video encapsulates multiple months. And while we were coating, we were also preparing the electricity. I know I have promised a video on the electricity, however, we made some decisions in the beginning of 2023, which made the video that I made completely useless. <laughs> so please bear with me, it's coming soon. But here you already get a tiny teaser for our preparations for the new electricity. And that meant that we had to remove this old tower next to the house. They made this because of something. But it's good, we have our entrance for the barn, for the electricity, for the, yeah. the solar. Oh, Dr. Antonio. Yes. Será que eles faziam isto? Este, este que está aqui, do lado de fora, também está lá aberto. This tower was originally built to make it easier to get the water from the water tank outside uh, into the house, which is why we even found uh, old pipes still inside the walls that we, of course, also had to remove. And it was quite a lot of hard physical labor, but it will be worth it. Dang. When you go into the bathroom at the moment, it looks like this is like the biggest mess of the house um, because it looks like this. However, first of all, under these carpets, there are tiles for the shower. And second of all, we already have a wall for the shower and a place to put shampoo and stuff, and that's for the water. But if we turn around, these three walls here, are actually pretty much done, which is like the first place in the house to be this far, which is so exciting. Ignore ignore the wall on the right, ignore that. <laughs> but um, it's, it's so exciting to see like multiple corners and walls to be done and to know soon enough the entire house will look like this. Isn't that exciting? Again, ignore this. Um, <laughs> that's so cool. Making potions.
week in and week out, this is what we did. Coat, 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 and more coating for months. All the jokes and the dramatic music aside, I have really learned something in the last couple of months of renovating, and that is that a successful renovation needs two things. The first thing is patience. We have a saying in German, gut Ding will Weile haben, which means good things take time. And for someone like me who is very impatient, this can be very, very hard sometimes, especially since we had a time deadline in our neck the entire time. It was not easy to be patient, especially during slow processes like coating. But in the end, all of these things, every little step, every slow thing is so necessary and will contribute to a beautiful, wonderful home that will be ours one day. And the second thing that you need is balance. This is something that we have not been good at for the last year or so since we started this whole journey. And that is that you need a good balance between the work, the hardship, the challenges, all of these things. As important as it is to sometimes power through, you also need to make space for joy and things that make you happy. Because here goes another saying, you cannot pour from an empty cup. It is so true and I feel like we often have reached a point over the last year where our cup was so empty and we just kept on pushing and that made this whole journey so much less enjoyable because we didn't prioritize joy and we didn't make space for it and for self-care along the process. So take it from me and my very sad turmeric harvest Make space for the things that fill your cup, that make you happy. Only then can you power through big projects like that. Take care of yourself, be social, cook well, do whatever you need to do to feel good about yourself and to stay healthy, both physically and mentally. And then everything is going to be all right. <laughs> 